What's going on guys and welcome to the channel where we talk about all things entrepreneur. Today I'm going to show you guys how to reverse engineer a successful Shopify store. I'm going to show you two strategies that I use to help identify stores that are already doing really well with Shopify and then how to identify which products they're actually selling that are doing really well. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so if you're just starting out on Shopify, it might be kind of hard to choose a theme, just see what's working for stores, and you know, find products that you know are gonna sell. So one of the things that I like to do when starting a store, and is easy for anybody to really do, if you go to this website, myip.ms, and I'll leave this, the link down in the description for you guys. Basically you can search based on Shopify's IP addresses. So all of the, all of the stores that are hosted on Shopify, you know, use a range of IP addresses and you can easily search this on this website. So if you scroll down a little bit, you can actually see some of the most popular websites um, that are run and powered by Shopify. So here's like a list of the top 15 um, based on their world site popular ranking. So I've already opened up a couple just to save some time. So if you, if you look at this first one, ColourPop. So I mean, this is the, the most popular Shopify store currently right now in the entire world. So I mean, take a look at their themes, their color schemes. Maybe you're going to start a cosmetic store. I mean, this is a great website to model um, your products after too. And then one hack that I like to do. So if you click on their best sellers, give it a second to load. This is what, this is what comes up for their best sellers, right? So they're going to show you this pressed powder sh shadow palette. So this sometimes for, some websites can be honest and they'll be the legitimate best selling products but other times it's not necessarily true they're kind of showing you products that they want you to buy because they have higher profit margins so one way you can check and this goes for most shopify stores i'll put this down in the description as well but if you if you copy paste this little piece and put it onto the end of the url right from the from the home page so we'll say colorpop.com right and then We'll copy paste the end of this. So basically what you're going to do, you're going to sort all of their collections by best selling. So you can see out of all of their products, what is selling the absolute most. And we'll, once it loads up, we'll actually compare. So you see these three shadow kits, shadow powders that are coming up. We'll take a look at what is actually, you know, the best selling products on their website legitimately. So here we have, okay, this shadow palette right here. So you can see this first line definitely isn't what we were just looking at. So while just clicking on their bestsellers is a good way to see, you know, the products that are selling really well in the market. Also add this, this little extension onto the URL and just to see what actually comes up. So if we go back to our list, you know, we have second is Gymshark. So if you go over to Gymshark, maybe you're trying to get into the fitness niche or fitness clothing. I mean, take a look at their website, right? really large images, fitness models, showing off their clothing. You can clearly see their branding, their brand name. Um, you know, model your websites after what you see. Because these people are obviously selling, you know, millions of dollars of products every single month. Um, so I, I won't do the same trick on this one. I do know that Gymshark does advertise their best selling as the legitimate product. So, after you kind of see, you know, the, the top list and you, you find a top website that kind of looks like something that you want to do, um, I would start moving further down the list, right? So I've already clicked view all records. Um, say we go to like page six, you're going to start getting into, you know, still successful stores, but maybe some Dropify store, or I'm sorry, maybe some drop shipping stores and just, you know, smaller stores that are owned by say individuals or smaller businesses. So as we scroll down this list, we maybe we want to find something that's actually selling physical products and try to find a store that's more on the level of what we could do uh, without, you know, paying for professional developers and whatnot. So a couple from from this from this list right here is one of them right here. So it's called 47brand.com. Um, they're ranked around 100,000 as far as world site popularity. And this is where you can really take a look at to see what's selling as possible drop shipping products, right? Because most people that start on Shopify are going to start with drop shipping, so I would just take a look, you know, what they're selling. Maybe use the extension again on this website, so we can actually see, 
you know, let's see what's actually selling on here the most. So from the looks of it, it's just an apparel company, hats and stuff like that. And let's see, the number one hat right here, basically a camo American flag hat. Now I know for a fact on AliExpress, you can find something very similar to this and drop ship it, you know, today. I've, I've seen it. It's it's one of the, the highest profit or the highest um, selling products right now on AliExpress. Then you have some, some other hats like a New York Yankees hat. I mean, obviously some of this stuff you have to be worried about um, using team names and, you know, licenses and stuff like that. Um, but still a great resource. Another one from this list ranked around 100,000 was, let's see where it was. Um, it, well, it was called Pillow Bread. So pillowbread.com. So right when you come to the website, you know, they have this little spinning wheel right here. So I can clearly tell this is, um, just an extension on Shopify, basically to get a discount off that comes up, um, we'll close out of that. And then, so this store is ranked right around a hundred thousand as well. And I can right off the bat tell these are drop shipping products, right? I mean, look how random this stuff is. We have a multifunction hammer here and then right next to it, we have, you know, some kind of planting thing. And then we have backpacks and dumbbell water bottles. I mean, this 100% is a Shopify drop shipping store. Like the products are so random. They're probably, you know, drop shipping right off of AliExpress. So this would be a really good website to see what kind of products are selling and use this because you could for sure find these products on AliExpress right now. Um, okay. So that kind of wraps up the first strategy that I have basically just seeing what stores are doing really well and finding the products that they're selling a lot of and then trying to find or niche down even more and find something that is within the niche that you want to do and then find products that look like they're being drop shipped so this is a perfect example and i'll leave all the links down in the subscription so the second one is going to be this website called flippa.com so basically this website is for people that are selling their you know online their websites their e-commerce stores so if you just go to, we'll just go to all websites. I mean, you can definitely just click Shopify, but just all websites gives you an idea. I mean, 90% of these are going to be e-commerce anyway, right? Um, then I like to set some of these, some of these uh, filters. So I like to go websites that are in the last three years. Well, we'll go two years just so the website is relatively new. So you're not looking at something that's too old and, the numbers are going to be accurate and then we'll look at monthly profit just say i mean you can set this to however much you want to make per month but uh we'll set 2500 dollars per month uh 2500 dollars a month and the website is within two years old so then we'll just search we're not going to put any keywords we just want to see everything right and so some websites come up right so you can literally see some of these websites that are coming up and what i really like is you can see their net profit how many page views they're getting and then you can see like the buy now price or like what they're trying to get for you can bid on it so if we look at this website a survivalist.com right so they're making almost five thousand dollars a month they're getting close to thirty thousand page views every month and you can either bid or buy their website for twenty five thousand dollars and that probably won't get up there that high it's kind of like ebay where you have a buy now price and you can kind of bid on it but I mean, you can base these numbers off, right? So you can see what kind of profit margins they're dealing with and how many, how much traffic they need to get those. And it gives you kind of like a base mark just to, just to kind of set goals and see, and see what you're working with. And then you can also use the strategy from the first, from what we were doing um, off the other website, right? You can go to these websites that you see are doing numbers that you'd like to do. And then you can go look at what products they're selling. And so here's another one. So survivalist gear, so flashlights, um, looks like a lot of different flashlights, kind of a camping light, you know, uh, emergency blanket, sleeping bags and stuff like that. I mean, all of these products for sure. I know this one right here for sure is on AliExpress. I was just looking at it earlier. Um, and you can grab all of these off AliExpress off their top sellers and literally create a store just like this. So, uh, and they're making $5,000 a month, right? So 
it's not rocket science guys i mean you just have to put in the work and know where to look know where to find resources and then model off of what people are doing successfully and then obviously i mean these people aren't just making a website and you know traffic is coming to them automatically right they're probably using instagram influencers uh, posting facebook ads in trying to generate traffic right there's definitely paid traffic here but still even if they're paying for traffic their net profit after all of that is five thousand dollars a month so um definitely a good website to just base numbers off of uh and kind of model successful websites based on the numbers that you want to do um so that's about it for these i'll definitely leave that other website's link down in the description as well thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want more e-commerce videos, social media strategy, or just anything entrepreneurship, go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll try to get it into one of the next videos. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.